All right, y'all. This is a continuation video, basically, from the last video. And I'm not going to lie. I lost a piece of footage of me putting this on. My dumb ass damn, damn near deleted it on accident. But I put this new radiator hose on. New, new radiator hose. Hopefully, it doesn't leak. Because I'm tired of coming across leaks on this damn car. I didn't fix like four or five leaks, which is pissing me off. So hopefully that fix it. I do got to put more coolant in here. I don't know if you guys see that. I don't have really any coolant because most of it leaked out when I take that hose off. But I do got a new coolant bottle. <laughs> hopefully it's enough because if it's not, I'm going to be upset. But yeah, I need to clean this goddamn engine bay up this shit is hella like dusty and dirty but yeah i got the new radiator support on got the new hose on hopefully this works because i'm tired of it and i need a fucking valve cover gasket badly both sides probably might as well do both i need to do a tune-up on this like spark plugs oil change coil plugs everything or coil packs i need to do all that because uh i don't think this shit has been done before yet still but um like i said let me put this cooling in there and i might end up starting it up or not but i'm really putting the cooling in there so i can look for leaks that's like the main thing i'm trying to do i want to make sure this shit is not leaking again I don't mind buying another cooling thing if this shit leak out. So yeah, let's go ahead and put the cooling in. I don't care what anybody say. This shit work just as just as good as a funnel. I promise you. Literally just cut a water bottle in half, Gatorade bottle, whatever. Water bottle got a smaller top, so I would definitely say a water bottle. Oh, oh. Just sit that in there just like that. It works perfectly fine. I promise you. Hopefully the car is still perfectly fine. No problems. Pretty please. The ground is completely dry under the car, so if it leaked, I would definitely know. Like, definitely. Overfilled it. Let me see if I can catch that. Before I leap down. I hate the smell of cooling when it's on your hand. It do not smell, it don't smell good, period, but definitely smells better than goddamn transmission fluid and oil. Transmission fluid and oil smell out of pocket. Not seeing no leak from here. Not feeling one either. Let's try this one. To be honest, I don't think it actually sucked it all the way in like to here yet. But we're about to see. I'm gonna just start the car and let it run for a second. See what happens. I gotta fucking charge this battery again, but damn. Let me just do that really quickly. All right. Got the charger on there. Let's see if this thing starts with no leaks. Please, no leaks. Still dead. Still dead. <laughs> Probably gonna have to move those damn things out the way. I mean, like for better contact or something. I'm gonna close this trunk too. So these lights ain't on. Get a better grab on this. That should be good. Yeah, that should be good. That's the only thing I hate about these damn batteries. Too big. 
It's supposed to be smaller and this part's supposed to be like more out. But it is what it is. I gotta get a new battery for sure. Got to, cause this should be pissing me off. And this shit's supposed to be on this side, or it, I think the battery terminal is supposed to be up here on this battery, but I had to flip it around for it to be on the right side. So yeah, that is one thing that sucks that I got this battery. It said it fit this car, which it do, but it don't at the same time, if you feel me. So yeah, let's try this again. Let it charge for a little longer this time. I really need to get that shit fixed. I'm tired of seeing that shit down every time I open the door. I wanna get black seats too. I like like the two-tone color right here, like the two-tone on that. I gotta clean that, but this too. But I wanna get black door panels. Black door panels with black seats and then a black center console. I don't care about the, the dash right here being like two-tone. That's fine with me. I'm not changing this dash out, but I definitely changed like the center console, the seats and the door panels for sure are all black. I think that'll look better. I like all black seats better anyways, but let me get back to you guys when I'm ready to start this thing up. After this video, my next video should be first drive video in a year, for sure. I ain't drove this car in like a year. it would definitely be a year in May. That's like three months away, but still. That's, that's a long time of not driving your car just for it to be sitting, especially a Corvette. I know you shouldn't put too many miles on your Corvette, but then again, hey, why have a Corvette if you're not driving that motherfucker, you feel me? But I love this damn car. I want to drive it every day, to be honest. It was my daily for a while. Last try. This is this is it right here. This going to do it. to you guys after this thing warm up for like five minutes so it's been about eight minutes maybe ten minutes no leaks at least i don't see any coming from up there and i don't see any down here no search key so i think that fixed it hoping that it fixed it because i see no leaks the belt not getting wet anymore only leak that was there is because I overfilled it and it leaked out. So, yesterday, I told you guys there was no more leaks, and <laughs> knowing my luck, I should have known that wasn't true. But when I let the car warm up, it wasn't leaking. Then I noticed it was leaking from here. I was trying to figure out, like, why the fuck is that shit still leaking? I looked up, like, a, a farmer and stuff. And they said, you don't put the 
the hose past the like little line right there. I said, okay. So I'm not gonna do that. So I put it like this and I was squeezing it and there was no leaks. There was no, no, there was, there was actually coolant that came out of there. When I did it, there was coolant that actually came out of it when I was squeezing it. Then I realized to myself, like, maybe it's just not tight enough. Like, maybe I didn't tighten this down enough because the, the flathead that I got is, like, small as fuck. So maybe it's not enough, like, quote-unquote torque for me to, like, tighten it. So I got an 8, and I tightened it with a ratchet. Now when I squeeze it, you get no leaks. Nothing come out. So I'm hoping that was it. Cause yesterday I literally had to turn the camera off so this shit don't pop off. It was literally leaking hella bad. So I loosened it so I could like pull it back some and yeah, it wasn't going for it. When I did that, this shit just like the pressure from like the build up in the car literally pushed this shit back. And, like just start squirting hella <laughs> squirting hella much like at my face. That sound out of pocket, but y'all know what I mean. But uh, yeah, it just started like spraying everywhere. So I was like, wow, I don't even want to work on this shit today. But I ended up just doing this, tightening it with the, the eight. And then I'm hoping it's not leaking anymore, but right now it don't seem to be leaking. I'm hoping that it's tight enough and it doesn't leak anymore, so. I'm gonna try to start this thing again, let it run. Probably gonna have to put some more coolant because it did drop down some. If you guys can see right there, probably lost maybe like, not even, a, I wouldn't even say a quart of coolant yesterday from that, but definitely lost some coolant. So we're gonna have to probably put some more in there. So I'm gonna get the battery charger on this thing again, and we're gonna, Try this one more time. All right, let's try this again. some coolant in but not a lot and been watching this closely I do not see any leaks I think I fixed it I think I wasn't supposed to have it over that damn that line it's probably what it was but I did tighten it more too with the eight so that probably did it as well so yeah I think I fixed this damn thing finally I think no more leaks now I'm almost certain this time I'm happy, I'm glad. The car's pretty good. I don't think, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be sitting at 220. I don't know. As long as it don't go past 220 though, like close to red, but I think it, that's just like the normal that it's at like 220 and then when I drive it and I open the temp up it go down but I know some people say that they should run at 230 I don't know if that's good or not but yeah and I ain't got that much gas <laughs> the battery seems to be charging good though and I don't know is it me or I feel like I need like a new oil pump or something I feel like that shit not supposed to be reading at 30. I feel like at idle that shit should be at like 35, 40. I honestly do not know. I'm gonna have to look that up, but yeah. I'm gonna have to check that out. But uh, yeah, I guess that will be it for the video, y'all. Um, 
There's nothing else I could really say. All I really want to do is fix that damn cooling leak. This shit been dragging on and on for multiple videos. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new, please sub, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's a lot of videos I'm going to be dropping soon. The next one for sure is going to be first drive video. So be looking out for that. I haven't drove this shit in like a year. So be looking out for that. But like I said, if you guys haven't liked the video yet please get a video a like it helps very very much so that'll do it for the video i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace